Hello everybody, it's Milky from Old School Rap and I want to welcome you all to my new series that I am starting called Let's Talk. In this series I'll be picking things like characters from movies, songs or different topics relating mainly to Tupac and Eazy-E, but we might mix it up, who knows. And for the first episode we're going to be talking about Birdie, Tupac's character from Above the Rim. Above the Rim the third movie Tupac starred in released 23rd of March 1994, where he played the character Birdie. As everyone will know, last Saturday was the anniversary of the release of this movie, so of course I watched it again to celebrate. I've seen this movie more than once, but this time I really started to think about Tupac's character in this movie and the way he's portrayed and comes across. It's something I've been thinking about, so there's where the inspiration for this video come from. I wanted to you know, put it in a video and start a new series from it, I thought this was a great way to start off the Let's Talk series. Now the first thing I want to discuss about Birdie is the way he's portrayed. If you've seen Above the Rim, which I'm sure most of you have, you will know that in this movie Tupac's character kind of comes across as the bad character. He's ruthless, he shows no remorse and nobody seems to stand up to him and anyone who, you know, does, it doesn't end well for them. But to me I don't think he is a bad character at all, especially when you look at why he is the way he is and why he acts the way he does. He is this big hardcore street hustler who would harm anyone for next to no reason but all of this comes from being in extreme poverty and the want and need to provide for his mother and give her a good quality of life, which he succeeded with as we hear him say to his brother while they're both visiting their mother's grave, he said, she's seen more money than she ever had. You know what I mean? So clearly he must have succeeded in his, you know, his mission and what he wanted to do. The relationship Birdie and his brother had in Above the Rim also adds to making Birdie look like the bad character. Because we see him get you know, being so angry and holding so much hatred towards his brother and giving him a constant hard time anytime they see each other. When in reality, all of this comes from being angry at his, angry at his brother for leaving him and his mother behind. And it hurt Birdie to see his mother being so convinced that he was going to come back and save them. Which led to Birdie having to step up, take control and do what he had to do to save him and, and his mother and give them a better quality of life. We see that he just wanted his big brother and his mother just wanted her son. So all of this hatred comes from not having him and having to do without him and Birdie having to step having to step up and be a man all on his own. I really do love the character that Tupac created, you know, with Birdie in this film. The character was so authentic because Tupac designed the character himself using his knowledge from the street. And I think that's what made the character so great, you know, so real and as I said already, it's so authentic. And I don't think anyone could have done it better. And people, that is going to do it for the first episode of Let's Talk. I know this was a short first episode, but I thought it'd be good to keep it a bit shorter just to see how, you know, everyone enjoys the series and see if I wanted to continue it. And if you would want longer episodes, then I will do longer episodes. Just let me know. Let me know your opinion of this in the comments as well. And let me know what you rate Above the Rim out of all Tupac's movies. I am Milky, this has been Old School Rap, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, people.